In today's episode, we will take a look at syncing audio to video within DaVinci Resolve. We're in DaVinci Resolve 18.1.2 in this particular case. We will talk about single camera syncing. So for example, if I have recorded to one camera and one separate audio recorder, we'll talk about how to do that sync. And also if I've done a multicam filming session, so if I've got two separate cameras and one audio file, how to sync those up. So to start, we're here in our media pool, and I have this camera clip right here and this audio clip. I know those need to be synced together. So I'm going to go ahead and choose both of those. Now, if I have a whole bunch of them, I can just go ahead and select everything and right click and it'll figure out what needs to be synced to what. In this case, we have a multicam set up here. So I'm not going to do that. That's the only reason why. But let's go ahead and select my camera clip, my audio clip. I'm going to right click on either one of them, come down to auto sync audio and choose based on waveform. And if I do that, went ahead and synced it up. And how do I know it's synced? If I come to the video clip and select it and then right click, if I choose clip attributes, you'll see that it says the source channel does not say embedded. In fact, it gives us the names that were actually recorded on our audio mixer um, for each of those four channels. It's a four channel audio file. So it linked it up just fine. Everything is good to go. Now you can see that when we play it back. Capturing, uh, this is my own term, the tragedy of opulence. So everything worked just fine there. So I'm going to go ahead and Command-Z undo that. Now, just to confirm, before you do the sync, if you come in and get your clip attributes, you'll notice it will just say embedded channel one, embedded channel two. That's the camera audio in that case. And we can just confirm that. We'll play it here. Super quiet, but yeah, you can tell <laughs> that's camera audio. Okay, so that's the happy path. The question happens... What if it doesn't sync up correctly? And let me give you an example of that. So here we're going to go into our multicam. Now I have, again, this camera here, and then I'm on this camera over here. And then we also have this audio file here. This has four channels. And what we have on this is we have Emma's boom microphone, my boom microphone, Emma's lavalier microphone, my lavalier microphone. Now, in the end, we're probably not going to use all of those, but let's go ahead and sync them up. And then in Fairlight later on, we would do our mix and choose which of those we want. But first of all, we have to get all this packaged up into a multicam clip. So how do we do that? We select all of them. We right click, we choose create new multicam clip using selected clips. Okay, now I'll go ahead and give that a name. And we're going to go ahead and call this our multicam. Um, our frame rate is 23,976. Here for the angle sync, if we want to sync based on the audio, the waveform, we can choose sound. And then for angle name, we'll just go ahead and leave that sequential and we'll click create. And what happens when we do that? Oh, it's trying. Oh, it failed. It wasn't able to sync the interview one cam to MXF. Now, I'm going to go ahead and then therefore undo this because that didn't work. This file right here was filmed on a Canon cinema camera, namely the Canon C70. What I've found over time is that DaVinci Resolve doesn't do well with those files. And for some reason that I cannot explain, doesn't, at least as of this date, <laughs> in December 2022, doesn't sync them up. So if that's the case, how do you do it manually? Well, let's go ahead and run through. So what I've done here is I select my video clip, and I'm going to come into each of these video clips and the audio clip, in fact, Go ahead and sync back here. Now there's a there's a point where Emma claps over here, and we'll use this as our sync point. Okay, and I can just get in the area, and then I can use my right and left arrows to find the exact frame where she actually claps. She's going to get ready to clap. I'm moving to the right, and then boom, right there. That's where she claps. So I just press M on the keyboard, and that creates this marker right there. Do the same thing on my clip. Um, you can actually see her hands at the edge of the frame. Whoops, let's go back to my clip and come up here. Go ahead and put our playhead as close as we can. I'm gonna write using the right arrow. Just, there goes Emma's hand. We're gonna listen for the clap now from our camera audio. And there it is right there. So I put a marker there as well. You can see the little blue marker. Then I do the same thing for my audio track. So we'll come up here and I can find those claps. They look like this on the waveform. Pretty obvious to find. So I'll use my right arrow to move to the exact frame where Emma's first clap occurs. 
There it is right there. Press M on the keyboard to leave a marker. Now what I can do, at least in theory, <laughs> is come up and I can choose all of these and right click and choose create new multicam clip using selected clips. So let's go ahead and try this. Instead of using sound, instead we're gonna choose marker. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna take the marker from each of those clips and line them up and create our new multicam sequence from there. So we'll go ahead and name this just multicam. So it's easy to find and I'll go ahead and click create and it created our multicam clip. And you can see, in fact, it is a multicam clip. We have our audio, we have our two video clips, and now we can take that into the edit page. But here's what happens. If I drop this down on the timeline, uh-oh, something's wrong. I've only got two channels of audio. I should have had four from that audio clip that we recorded on our sound devices recorder. So I'm gonna undo all of this, that didn't work. So here's another kind of funky thing that for reasons I don't understand, um, this did. So we're gonna get delete. We're gonna just get, get ourselves back to the start here. Take these, drop them back up into the original, the master. I can get rid of that now. Okay, we're back at our start. We have our, we have our markers on each of the clips. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go ahead and sync these two into our multicam. And then we will later sync this audio in the edit page. Okay, so first I'm gonna just call this multicam and we're going to angle sync based on the marker. Again, we put those markers in there where the clap occurs so that they can use that to do the sync and go ahead and click create. Okay, that's great. We're gonna come over here then to the edit page. Now I can take my multicam and just drop that down here in the timeline and give it a second to draw the waveforms. Ah, uh, there are the waveforms, good. I'll also take my audio clip and drop that into the timeline down below the audio from the camera. And then I can go ahead and scroll over here to the right until I find those claps. Well, here are the claps from the audio recorder and here are the claps from the camera. Now, normally what I, could, I should be able to do <laughs> is go ahead and select everything, right click and choose auto align clips based on waveform, but again, it fails. So if it does fail, that's not a problem. We can actually sync these up manually. And what I can do literally is just take my playhead. It'll actually magnetically get to the markers here and then just literally visually line those up just like that. If I need to zoom in, I can hold down the option key and use the roller on my mouse to zoom way in to make sure I'm nice and synced up. Looks like it is. Now what I can do is go ahead and test that. I'll play that back. Okay, that looks right. So once I've done that, I'll go ahead and select everything and then right click and choose link clips. Now when I move things, everything moves together. And what I can do is I can mute the camera audio now. And then I can also mute the other microphones I don't wanna hear. So the lav mics, we'll, we'll go ahead and mute those for now. Now I can go ahead and do my edit. And then once we get over into Fairlight, then we can do our mix and actually choose exactly which mics we wanna use when, do all the kind of fine tuning of the audio and then we're good to go. That'll be another lesson for the future. And in fact, we are currently working on a course where we're going to talk about how to mix in Fairlight within DaVinci Resolve. So make sure you stick around for details on when that launches in the next few weeks here. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave those down below. If you've not already subscribed, make sure you do that. And we'll be sure to get you more great videos on how to improve your lighting and sound for video. Talk to you soon.